Hello, welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Today I have the Pelican or Pelican M400 tortoise shell, and it actually comes in a gift box. So I didn't, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do an unboxing, but I thought, well, I'll go ahead and do it since it's like a special gift box that they say it's coming in. And from what I understand, it's supposed to be upgraded from the regular uh, pen boxes. So since I don't have any other fancy uh, ones from Pelican, I decided to order this and to show you what this gift box looks like. Kind of a goldish color, but it says passion and actually a really nice pen sleeve that comes with it, which is super nice and an extra i didn't know that and then the guarantee information inside so let's take a look so there's the box and um, this is the pen sleeve so like a nice creamy color and um, really nice holder inside so you can put two pens in one snug over here one there so they don't scratch one another so that's unexpected little gift maybe that's the gift in the gift box i don't know but let me see so this was a early birthday present that my husband got me and um, one of the reasons why is because i am the hub master for oklahoma city for the pelican hubs and i'm so super excited to do that and so we're going to talk about not just pelican pens but all kinds of different pens and inks hopefully i'm just looking forward to it so um over here if you can see it says m400 and it says tortoise shell white or tort white and it has just this little thing under the clip all right so I'll put that in the box and this is just a beautiful pen and i wanted to do this review in the daytime and not at night so you can see the variation in the color as, oh, gosh, that's just beautiful. So I have this thing for tortoiseshell because it's just so classic and so so beautiful. Um, and they have the M400 in a few different colors. They had a black one that I was kind of drooling over. And then they also have like a brown mocha colored one. But I really wanted something different. And so my husband was asking me about you know, what, what is it that, that you want? So anyway, decided and settled into this one, mainly because it's a special edition. And let me just tell you a little bit about it. So special edition comes with the gift box. It has the uh, Pelican bill. So that's supposed to look like the bill of the Pelican, which I think it, I love birds. So that just, I don't know, just an added thing for me that I think is just so cute. And then the pelican with the one little chick at the end and that is on the the finial all the kind of this well not this but the yeah actually yes the clip and the rings are 24 karat gold overlay so that means the two bands on the cap and then the finial uh, part you know the around that and then I'm off camera sorry about that um let me see that okay and then also this one which i have read several reviews and the well-appointed desk who i really love to read their reviews i think um, they do an excellent job on pens they said that that can be a little bit problematic because you're dipping that section piece into the ink and sometimes you do find like corrosion and that part kind of uh, just gets old fast so in the antique uh, ones you can see that but the nib is a two-tone 14 karat gold so this is my second 14 karat gold pen and it has the uh, pelican insignia the red is off my phone which I'm filming this on so you can see that and then um, just has a the, the feed there and anyway just a pretty pretty pen and you can now see while well, i have it up close to uh, focus 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 no out of fo in focus out of focus 
I need to stop moving myself. There we go. There we go. Look at that. That is so, so beautiful. So anyway, it has the, um, where was I? Gold here that is problematic for people, but my thing is just what, make sure you wipe it off, right? Once you fill it up with ink. And then it has the two 24 karat rings on the bottom as well. It is a piston fill. So um, there, can you see it moving? Ah, out of focus again. Now you should be able to in focus again. There you go. Sorry about that. Golly, I keep moving it up to the thing. There, you can see it go through. This is why I wanted to do it in the day daytime so you could kind of see some of these things. So it is see-through, like a transparent barrel, which is very nice. And um, my pen is an extra fine. And I hope it says that on there. Now that I'm thinking about it, does it say it? Does it say it? Yeah, anywhere? Yes, it does. Okay, it says it on here, extra fine. So uh, extra fine pen nib, and that's because I just kind of wanted to make sure that it was fine enough for what I was looking for. So, all right, so um, what else do I want to talk about? Transparent barrel. The cap is one turn. Actually, it's not even a full turn, but like a three quarters turn. So that's also very nice so that you don't get any kind of a yeah, leakage in that. And then um, it is postable and actually has a very nice balanced weight once it posts. And so while I have it posted, let me give you the measurements on this. Why am I so far up? There we go. All right, so measurements on this guy. Uh, posted is just short of six inches. Oh, moved it. What am I doing here? Can you see that? There we go. Now you should be able to see it. So um, just short of six inches, so I'll call that like 5.9 from the end. And then capped is right at five inches. And so um, in the other videos I've just shown next to different pens, this is my Sailor 1911 Compass, which I use quite a bit for art. And I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna keep that there so you can just see the differences, move the box out of the way. Twisby is quite a bit larger if you um, see the comparison there. Then this is a Pilot Metropolitan. This is a Noodler's Ahab. So the price difference between these pens is considerable. Uh, all of these are low end, meaning like $25 to $30 pens. Um, whereas this one is a lot more than that because it has a 14 karat gold nib. So, but I just like to compare it next to my workhorses, especially my Twisby. So many people have Twisbys just so you get a size comparison. It's a lot bigger. Uh, the Twisby is a lot bigger than this Pelican. So um, there's a couple things here uh, that I wanna mention. My husband actually was looking for the M800 and it's supposed to be a lot bigger and he has bigger hands. I have small hands and fairly petite. And so he was really worried that this was not gonna be a good size. And uh, for me, it is absolutely perfect. Um, even, you know, no, it's not uh, posted. It's a, a great size for me. Um, even for him, for him, it, it kind of comes up to like right here, but he can still write with it. Now, when you have it posted, it's a totally different thing for both of us. So it's, actually very, very nice when it is posted. And then um, then we were looking at like the M600s and that, you know, were was fine. Uh, the cost is quite a bit more than the M400s. And then the M200s were just honestly too small. And a lot of times people are like in the reviews that I've read, they've said this pen is just way too light. 
And so one of the things I want to say, and um, I think when I looked online, just from the Pelican website, it's like 14.4 grams. So that's very light. Just in comparison, um, it is the same as the Sailor just about. So just make sure that you kind of compare to different pens that you have and just kind of look up the specs if you think it's going to be too light. I, however, love it because for me, the Sailor is not an issue. It's light, but it's not cheap. Um, for, for this pen, it feels very sturdy. The body is just beautiful. And so I'm excited to see it inked and let's go forward with that. All right. So I am using Diamond Meadow and this is a new ink to me, maybe not to you. And I was actually, I waited on this review because I couldn't decide which ink I was going to use. And I know nobody out there can relate to that problem that I have. So um, I had analysis paralysis on, oh no, now what do I do? What kind of uh, ink do I want to put into this, this lovely specimen? Okay, the piston mechanism is just smooth like butter. And now you can see that the gold finial piece truly does get um, kind of dunked in there. So I can see why... And, you know, why people are concerned about, like, corrosion and things like that. But, uh, ooh, I just dunked all the threads in there, too. That was very messy of me. And got some meadow on my hands. That's all right. All right. So it happens when I'm, like, talking and inking at the same time, which is pretty much all the time. So, all right. Uh, let's do a, and I usually don't write with my pens posted so we are going to use my rhodia dot pad so we can see the ink oh and i had a platinum preppy i guess last with green ink must be going through a green phase so let's see this is right out of the box oh what am i doing it's not platinum how dare i especially being a hub leader or Hubmaster, it's Pelican M400, and this is called the White Tortoise Shell. Okay, and let's see, this is a extra fine nib. So just even in the first uh, initial inking it's not doing too bad I've read some reviews where people are like no it's skipping and it's doing all this stuff but not experiencing any of that the ink is actually a nice wet ink So it's writing very, very well right out of the box. And like I said, a diamine, I just wanted to also try diamine because I didn't want it too wet, too dry. You know, I, I feel like I'm Goldilocks right now just talking about M800 is too big, M200 is too small. So this one is just right. The ink is... Diamine Meadow. And stay tuned, I'll do a review on the ink and compare it to some of the other ones. But this is the writing sample on the Rhodia dot pad. So very, very nice. Now I'll tell you my favorite writing samples are always on crummy paper. So this is just a Topps legal pad. And I just kind of try out all my inks because this is normally the kind of paper that I'm using. Now, I'm gonna tell you one thing. Um, I hold my pens kind of like this and I can see where the threads might irritate somebody. So just 
be mindful of that. Not, I know that people hold their pens all different ways. So let's see if I can get the brand right. Good. 400. Right. Now the nib has no give. Well, just a little bit of, it's not a flex, so. Hardly any feedback. It's very smooth. It's a really smooth writer. Boy, that ink is super wet on regular old paper. So I love the feedback. All right, so as I was writing fast, I have to tell you, I found myself uh, adjusting because the threads were actually Kind of getting me there i don't know if you can tell so yeah you're gonna have to watch that part of it as you write if you hold if you have a tendency to hold up on top and i and i really do it's i think it's because of my calligraphy i'm usually not writing all the way down here and i don't um put you know like like a tight grip on the on the section so this section might be an issue for you you might want to take a look at that but for me it's not a deal breaker especially since the pen is absolutely gorgeous and I just think like I would just spend time staring at how pretty this is and it is very exciting and very nice to have a another 14 karat I have a pilot falcon and that has a beautiful flex to it if you're looking for something that will improve your handwriting this one does not have a flex and so uh, you get kind of what you get now I do have to tell you it is available in an italic nib I hear in Europe um, so I actually ordered this from England and they did not have an italic nib otherwise I would have gotten it but this is just an extra fine and so anyway I hope that this was a useful uh, video for you. Stay tuned for a Diamine Meadow Green um, ink review. And also, I would love for you to check out my Pilot Falcon video because I think um, it would be a good one to compare to, especially if you're trying to improve your writing or are just looking for a pen that is just a magnificent pen. I've had it for uh, quite some time now. I've been, it's been a regular writer for me and uh, it's just been a wonderful pen. So I've been looking forward to having another 14 karat just because honestly you do get spoiled. So anyway, I hope this was a good video. I hope that um, if you have any pros and cons that you might want to share, would you put them in the comments? Because I would love to hear from you. If you have the M600 or the M800, I would, or even the M200, which is what I was looking at at first, um, would you please share those views with me? Because again, the whole point of me making videos is to really encourage the pen community. So with that, see you in the next video. Bye.